What is up YouTube? Thanks for coming back for another video. So I finally got to enjoy the mow. I didn't get to do it on Cinco de my mow, but I still got the mow. And it was done uh, yesterday, which had been uh, de Mayo. I'll, I'll go with that. So anyway, got everything cleaned up, went through, trimmed the, uh, the flower beds, got looking pretty decent. Um, had to really get the demos in where I can. It's growing pretty quick, and I haven't even put any fertilizer down on the yard yet. And I mean yet. So, if you're recalling a couple videos ago, my Carbon X showed up. I think it's time to throw her down. As my GoPro wobbles around all to and fro. So, I want to put down some Carbon X. It's supposed to rain tomorrow, so to water it in. Um, so with this, it's a 50 pound bag. I've got 8,000 square feet over in Yeah. I've got another 5,000 square feet over in Yeah. So that gives me uh, 13,000 square feet, three pounds per thousand. So I'm looking at about 39 pounds of carbon X I need to put down. <coughs> it's a 50 pound bag, so I'm looking at about four fifths of a bag. So I should be able to kind of eyeball that out, throw it in there and uh, see how that goes. Um, then tomorrow it's going to rain pretty much all day, so it should be able to water all that in for me. Let's throw her down. So I've... Uh been told that there's a slightly different smell between Melorganite and Carbon X. Milo smells like success. I want to find out what this smells like. It doesn't smell horrible. I can't really give you a, a definite smell what it would put me in mind of. I mean, it's not a blueberry-ish smell that Milo gives you. Maybe a... Maybe like a stale cereal? Looking at this, it puts me in mind of like Cookie Crisp or the Oreo cereal that they used to make back in the day. If it was really stale and... I don't know. Smell like success on top of it? Maybe? I don't know. Let's find out how it spreads. All right, so I just noticed as I, uh, did a pass with the uh, Carbon X going over the uh, Her GoPro Hero. Uh, I'm gonna have to go back through the uh, the camera footage. I haven't even looked at it and edited it yet. When I picked up my camera, that is the uh, screen protector. I noticed there was a little crack, the one right there in the middle. And I started pulling off this thing just completely shattered on me. Good thing I had a uh, screen protector. That could have been uh, you know, a three hundred dollar mistake. But, I'm going to throw this away. So, uh, I got my carbon X put down. And as maybe a tad heavier than what I expected. So, I should have needed 39 pounds of product to go down. Um, I just weighed the bag. And there was roughly 8.9 pounds of carbon X left in the bag. Which means I used... of product so and just over two pounds more than I expected I know exactly where it happened um, my, my overlapping paths where I went around the, the edge of the yard and I went to came, come back um, throws out a lot wider uh, spread than kind of what I'm used to so my coverage over the edges of my yard around the road is spread out about look like spread out about six seven feet um, so then when I was doing my, my passes back and forth, 
I kind of came up a little bit closer to uh, that edge of the road than I probably needed to. So there was a little bit of extra product thrown down there. So I knew that's where it was. Um, still, you know, two pounds of product uh, more than um, over a 15,000 square foot area. Doing the math on that, I mean, two divided by 15,000. All right, I had to correct myself on that. I think I said that my front was uh, 15,000 square feet. It's actually 13,000 square feet. Uh, I think I misspoke a minute ago. Um, so 13,000 square feet over the whole front. So I've been uh, 39 pounds of product I needed. I put down uh, 41.4, I believe. So I was 2.4 pounds uh, over uh, what I expected. <clears throat> Considering, you know, 13,000 square feet, uh, 2.4, 13 divided by 2.4 is really not that bad. I mean, granted, yeah, I probably could have covered almost another thousand square feet. That's all right. I was ex expecting this to cover, you know, it's supposed to cover 50 times three, I don't know, like 16,000 square feet, I think, uh, was uh, the proposed. Um, so that's fine. I still have plenty to cover my, my backyard. Um, I only need six pounds to cover back there, so I'll have a little over two pounds of product left so I can kind of go through and hit some of my my flower beds and you know pots and stuff like that uh, throw some uh, carbon X in that so it should be all good I got two more updates for you uh, before I end this video one uh, how long has it been since I've done the reno on the backyard I, don't know, I think it's coming up on a year since I put down this era uh, a year a week since I put down the seed uh, starting to look a little bit better I am seeing some germination. Oh, look at the little babies. So, I just threw down some starter fertilizer for that. Uh, so, I should see a little bit more uh, growth coming up in the next week. So, hopefully, this stuff through here and this junk, hopefully, that'll look a lot better. Uh, come another week or so last update I got for you so it's been a little over a week since I put down the uh, the carbon X uh, that was May 7th uh, that I put it down it is now the 15th so it's been eight days since I put it down uh, some people say they were seeing uh, some results of carbon X and, and within a week um, so let's take a look at that and uh, see if we can see any differences all right, so here's the uh, the front yard where I applied carbon X. I think it's starting to look maybe a little bit darker. It's kind of hard to tell because uh, May 7th was also the last time I mowed. So uh, I am in desperate need of another mow. Um, so it's been eight days since I last mowed. It's getting a little tall. Uh, starting to see some, there's some uh, seed heads coming up. So some of these white areas I'm seeing appears to be uh, where it's uh, going to seed it's almost just overgrown so I think though it is starting to uh, to green up a little bit more um, I do want to put down uh, some ferrous ammonium sulfate that I've had for I think I got that during the winter uh, maybe even know, February or so but I haven't put any down yet uh, so I do want to try my hand at that next um, but uh Overall, I don't know, maybe another week or so this will green up a little bit more and I'll see a little bit more results with the Carbon X because it does have, uh, I believe it was three different uh, releases of, of nitrogen. You had your quick release, a little bit of medium and slow release, plus a biochar in there and you have that RGS. So over time, I think it will uh, get a little bit better. Um, so we'll give it another week. I'll touch base with that in another week. Um, and the last thing I got is uh, a few videos ago, I believe uh, mid-March, I uh, had some roof damage up there. The uh, roofers came today, so a shout out to uh, King Roof. Tell you what, if I did it myself, it would have taken me a week, and I probably would have done it wrong, and I probably would have fallen off the ladder a couple times. I'll be honest about that. Um, but uh, they showed up at 8.30 this morning, and they were done by 4 uh, as far as cleaning up and everything. Um, I only found maybe a dozen nails over the whole yard, uh, but they were, they were very clean, blew everything out. Um, they had tarps down when they were putting everything, uh, uh, throwing everything off. So uh, 
overall I was very impressed with them and uh, they, were, they were very quick so that's all I got for this week so I'll see you in the next